Hello. Gordana Velikic again at Zinx conference in Avisa 2018. Well, I've been to many conferences and uh, I was always wondering, you know, you have the conference, you have the, the stars of the conference like keynotes and all this excitement uh, about demonstrations and prototypes and like in our conferences we have these Audi demonstrations. But then who are the people who are the heart and backbone and the brain of the conference? Have you ever wondered that? Now we are going to answer the question. Here with me is Konstantin Glassman, and Konstantin and his team are actually the heart and backbone and the brain of IEEE CE Society TV channel. So since they're always behind this um, camera tripod, I insisted that they should come in front and finally show their faces. And here they are. You can actually see who the team behind IEEE CE Society TV channel are. So, Konstantin, how it looks when the conference starts and all this excitement, and then you go around and interview the people, actually record interviews and uh, you um, have to set up the things and I guess sometimes we are like, you know, different personalities. So sometimes it's uh, really hard to put people stand in place. Like for example, now I'm like um, really trying hard not to move, to, to stay in focus of the camera. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It's my first time as an interviewee at <laughs> all the exhibitions. Uh, SOC TV started almost six years ago and it's the first time I'm before the camera, not behind the camera. Uh, our television, I think, is very useful for uh, C Society members. First of all, people who cannot attend a conference can watch all the videos presented at the conferences. Uh, People would like to attend conferences uh, sometimes to feel the atmosphere of scientific exchange of ideas. And we provide such a possibility for people who cannot attend. Our videos, our television is, I hope, very useful for students who studied uh, technical English. It's also an important point. And uh, sometimes it can be useful even for people who attended confer a conference but cannot uh, listen to a speaker because at each conference we, can, we have um, two, three, four streams, parallel streams. So I think, I think our CISOC TV is very useful. I hope it will be very useful, and I would like to thank you for inviting our team to attend your conference. And I feel this conference is very useful for young people. I could see today a lot of young people, a lot of students, and I think it's, uh, this is um, maybe the most important thing for the future conferences and for the success of the future conferences. Yes, I agree. And we are really delighted to have you here Thank you. and really happy that you actually managed to come because I know that sometimes it's like really, really hard to actually uh, get you because of your busy schedules and everything uh, to come to the conference. So. Um, you said that this is your first time that you are in front of the camera. Do you feel, you know, they have, they say like a stage fright uh, that people usually have when they have to uh, like speak in front of the group people or, or when they are recorded on camera. So do you have a stage fright? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I'm a little bit nervous, of course. Mm -hmm. Every time when a person stands before the camera, it should be nervous. And when you have a case like that uh, person is in front of camera and, and has a stage fright, 
What do you do? Do you advise them to do something like breathe deeply or like uh, just uh, forget that the camera is there? Or uh, we can actually Photoshop, uh, photo video, uh, something, uh, edit. Uh, so don't worry if there are errors, we will correct that. In reality, we usually have no time to prepare people for shooting. Mm -hmm. Usually we ask them, you have one minute and <laughs> you should explain all the main ideas of your research work. Of course, some uh, errors can be uh, corrected during editing, but it's very seldom we use such a way of correcting. In principle, I think it's better to uh, show real talk. And real talk is a talk where mistakes are possible. Yes, exactly. And that's the charm of the real talk. Yes, yes, yes. You're absolutely right. So, thank you, Konstantin. It was a really, real pleasure. And I hope that it will be captured on video so that people that cannot really see the team behind can also feel uh, the um, personality of the team behind. I hope that we captured a little bit of that with this interview. Uh, now, we have two charming young ladies that are actually behind the camera that I would like to ask to come and show themselves one by one. Dasha. Uh, it's a very good idea. Yep. So, of these two charming ladies and they don't have microphones, so they cannot really say uh, anything and to be actually recording nicely. So they'll just smile and wave. And hopefully, I will get a chance before this conference ends to actually have a few words with them so that you can see how uh, intelligent and charming and nice these uh, ladies are, if I may call you ladies. Uh, young ladies and um, hopefully next time when you see them at the conference you will understand how much importance of the work they are doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.